Hey guys, it's Shane here, and uh, first thing first, I just want to uh, direct all you guys back to the two winning giveaway videos. Um, if you haven't checked those videos, please do check them. Um, the winners have all been named in those. For some reason, some of the emails that I sent out haven't got or gone to the right people, so uh, I advise you guys to go and check those just to see if you did win. Obviously, if you didn't enter, you won't have won, so that is null and void for you. But the idea of today's video um, is to answer a few questions that people have given me with regards to starting Ultimate Team. Some people are having problems uh, earning coins or winning games and they're, they're not sure what, what they're doing wrong. Um, so without further ado, I'll, I'll go into that. Uh, my first tip, should we say, when starting Ultimate Team is take advantage of the offline tournaments, especially the first one or two. I think it's about 500 coins for the first one if you win it. Um, that get you a nice boost there with your bronze team. Um, you'll get some some money there whether you want to buy a player or a couple of contracts or you know something of that nature just to help your team at the start. It's a very good way to earn a little bit of money um, at the start at the start of your ultimate team career, and it's quite crucial in my eyes to be honest. The second tip that I would give, which is an important one in my eyes anyway. Um, the actual team itself, I would advise going for full golds um, until you absolutely have to. Um, with the matchmaking on FIFA, if you have a five-star team, you should, and you are nine out of ten times, put up against a five-star team. So if you jump straight for golds, you're going to be playing the better players. If you've played old FIFAs, then that should be fine. You, you know how to play well. If you're not too sure how to play FIFA, or you're just not that good and you need a bit more... Um, training or practice um, stick with a lower team I'd say three three and a half style or under for as long as you can until you learn the game learn your play style whether you're a header of the ball whether you like to pass a lot or a skiller just stay with the three three and a half star team you can have a few golds in there so you can have your two strikers as gold and the rest as silver and bronze and that should keep your team under three and a half star that way you're not playing the best of the best but you're playing say middle of the road players so they'll have some skills, they'll be quite good, but they are beatable. If you don't know how to play FIFA very well and you jump straight in with a 5-star team against a 5-star team, pretty much 99 out of 100 times you'll be beaten. Um, and is it really worth going for a full 5-star goal team if your record is going to be, say, 10 to 35? It's just not going to be. You're not going to have fun if you're losing every game. You're just not going to enjoy it for what it is. Um, and then my final tip, which... It's kind of self-explanatory, but I will say it because I, I still use it to this day. It's the fitness of the players. Uh, I manage to sell all of my fitness cards all the time. And I, it still amazes me that people buy them. Um, to get the fitness and the players back, all you need to do is put them on the subs bench for two games. And they'll be back up to 99 fitness. Um, as long as they're on the subs bench, I believe it doesn't help if they're in the reserves. But just the subs bench. Um, just switch a player around. Put them on the subs bench. You could even do an offline tournament with your main team on the subs bench to bring their fitness back up if that is the problem. I wouldn't advise wasting your money, um, especially in the early stages anyway, on fitness cards. Um, you're just going to be wasting, I think it's about 150 to 200 for the goals, maybe a bit more at the moment. Um, you, you, you know, you're much better to buy a goal player or a couple of contracts to help you out. Also, the more goal players you have, the more money you have to spend on contracts. Silvers and bronze can be can be sorted out with the the bronze contracts um, so yeah I definitely wouldn't go for the gold team until you absolutely have to and you're happy with your game uh, but if you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see some more of these uh, starting on team videos as well as my normal tip videos just give it a like um, give it a rating if you can please and of course come over and comment I do read every comment I do answer the ones that I think need answering um, I still do answer all of my private messages uh, unfortunately though people are asking me if they can add me on Xbox at this moment I'm not accepting uh, Xbox friend requests that's mainly because I don't want to accept say five of you and then 15 others ask me and I say no that's just not fair so uh, if I'm online you can send me a message and if you're playing either Call of Duty or FIFA I can jump in and play with you but um, at the moment I'm not accepting friends requests on this account um, but yeah, if you can come over and subscribe to me, that would be great. As I said before, give it a like, give it a favourite, and obviously come and comment. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.